So uh, it's a get ready with me. I'm going to do a light pinup look just to stay inspired and entertain you guys and keep you inspired to keep doing your hair and makeup during this time. Um, it's so easy to fall into that rut of doing nothing, wearing pajamas, getting lazy, and then you just feel like crap and you don't even realize it. And then you're eating junk food, and or maybe you're doing that already. And it's easy to do when you have nowhere to go, and perhaps you're alone, or maybe you just have a small family, and it gets tiring. And so I'm just cleaning out my gun. And I love airbrush makeup, as I've talked about in a lot of my videos. But the downside to it is your guns can get clogged up when you're trying to do a video and it can be frustrating so you always have to keep your guns clean and sometimes it just happens um, it's just part of having and doing airbrush <coughs> and the gun I have is has improved greatly the company before I had really crappy ones and they were saying how they the first one I got remember doesn't push any product out and they kept saying no no it's fine no no it's fine and then I got this one and it works really good so constant and clean your gun out and for that reason <clears throat> I just do my foundation right now with airbrush and I've been playing with eyeshadow colors I've been getting back into that for fun and yeah I could do the same looks with airbrush but there's a lot of layering that maybe you can and can't do or it just it, you have to do it in a different way and I've just been having fun using all my products and that's the beauty about being a makeup artist or doing makeup on yourself, don't limit yourself and feel you have to do this and have to do that. Do what you want, do what works for you, do what works for your budget. And I always talk about that. Um, don't feel like you've got to follow anyone's rules because there are no rules. Uh, makeup is play. Okay. So I think I'm just going to do a kind of a soft, like a warm brown in my crease. I want to do a clean kind of pin up vintagey look. I don't want to go too crazy. So I'm just going to do this warm brown. These are all MAC shadows. I've had them forever. I'm not sure what which one this is, but uh, I'm sure if you're a makeup enthusiast you can figure it out. It's a warm toned brown because I want to keep my eye, <clears throat> I want to add definition but I don't want to darken it, but at the same time I want to make it make sure it stands out. So I'm just going in the crease, I'm just taking one of these brushes and doing that. doing a little bit I know you're supposed to pat but I like to I just forget myself and I pull so patting and then I go a little bit underneath I like to blur out down at the bottom I'm just gonna go a little higher I'm just gonna warm up the eye okay and then I'm gonna take this one. Sorry, I have a bad habit of going right in the camera and you can't see anything. Um, so I think I'm just going to go in with the one above it. It's darker, but it's warm as well. This one has got like a red tone to it, I think. And I'm just going to do the corners just to add a little definition. And I used my foundation over my eye as my eyeshadow base. And you can see how it's creating shadows and layering, which I love to do. And it just starts to bring out the eyes, you can see. All right, underneath, one of my favorite brushes. I'm gonna take, um, I think I'm gonna take a different color just for fun. I'm gonna do an orange. I'm gonna do this brighter orange, or this kind of medium toned one, and just go underneath. And they all kind of blend in with each other, but I want to keep the eye bright. Mm. There you go, and I like to go a little wider. Pull the eye out. So I like that. All right. I've already done my brows. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that for now. Since we've got like an orange brown theme, I think I'm going to go with this Peaches by MAC. Lots of MAC shadows from when I worked there years ago. I'm just taking this angled contour brush. I'm going on the top of the cheek, not in the crease. 
I want to keep it bright and poppy. I don't know, it's taking me forever to do these videos lately. All this time, but I am working on other stuff. I'm putting my jewelry site back up. I don't know if you know, but I did jewelry years ago. And I thought I was done with it, it had run its course, and then I realized I have all this product, and so I want to put a site up. And I don't really expect people to buy it during these times. It's more for me and just kind of getting it out there and not letting it sitting in a box. I'm going to use a little lip gloss because my lips are dry. This has a peachy tone, so it matches, but this is Revlon. Can't see. It's like a sparkle, anyway. Hair everywhere. I'm going to take my liquid liner by L'Oreal. I'm going to set the stage for my lashes. I like to go up. Today we're going to go a little bit higher. I want to do a little cat eye for a pinup inspired look. And I'm just gliding it across, not overthinking it, not dragging it. And there's parts of my eye where it kind of stutters and almost creates a space, and so I go in and I just tap it. And I'm not going to worry too much about it because I'm going to put my lashes on and that's going to change the shape of the line and then I'll have to go back over it. But I'm just going to use that as a base and I'm going to grab some lashes. Hang on. And I don't put a ton of mascara on them. I just pull off the kind of old glue. And these are just regular strip lashes from Kiss. And contrary to popular belief, you can wear them more than once if you take care of them. Um, but as soon as I get ratty, I throw them out and get a new pair. But strip lashes are cheap enough, you can do that. Ooh, we're going to use some duo glue. Let me know if you like the talking videos better than the, than the, the faster ones, which you'd rather see. Okay, I feel like I can talk a little bit more and give more tips and tricks, but maybe you don't care. All right. So I've just put a little glue. I just use a little end of anything. I'm going to place the lash, start from the center, okay. and pull the lashes down. You can see. And I'm just going to leave it. It takes 60 seconds for it to get tacky, so you don't have to worry about it. I'll leave it for a second, and I'll go in and readjust it. I just like to get them on. Okay, and I just do a thin coat of glue. There you go. I like to make sure my corners are in. And they're on. Almost done. And I started using this mascara again because it doesn't flake. And it's got a nice tiny brush which allows you to get in. And I'm basically covering any kind of makeup on my real lash and sealing them to my fake ones to open up the eye. And that's a little makeup slash photography trick for the camera. A lot of people will do lashes and then they're split. And they're very distracting, so you have to put them together without damaging your lash. So, let's do, oh, we're done with the glue. So these are just drying. I sometimes get them off. Okay, so we're going to do this. If you go underneath, you can see a gap. If you lift your lash, I like to just zigzag it. I'm only really getting my, my lash. Not really. And if you get the false one, it's no big deal. It's just to push them up, stroke up, and then I zigzag. Put them together, and you see how it opened up the eye? And then just push the lash in places. And you don't have to have anywhere to go to do this hair and makeup. It's just for you to feel good. And there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. So, we need a lip. We've done a brown and a warm eye. We could do a red. We could do an orange. We could go nude. 
but I think for fun I'm going to do a bright orange. So I'm gonna I like to make my top a little bit bigger and the bottom a little rounder. So lately I've been doing this first and then going back with a liner and just kind of rounding out the edges. I have two oranges. So I think I'm gonna go with this darker one. It's a no-name brand. And if I had a dark brown, I would do a little definition just to make it, um, give it a little bit more of an edge. It does make it pop out. Oh, you know what? Okay, I'm going to do this. I went over my lip a little bit. So we're just going to take a Q-tip. Just clean it up. It happens. So I lined with this darker orange, but I'm going to take my eyebrow pencil, because it's a darker brown, and I'm just going to go... And I'm just playing with light and shadow, and I'm going darker, not all the way around, not a hard line, but just shading and blending. To add some definition. Just makes the lips come out a little bit more without looking overdone. I'm gonna go back in with a little orange. Have a nice, kind of unique pinup look instead of the traditional red. And hang on, I'll be back with you. <laughs> So I'm back. I'm not sure if you caught the first half of the video or the second half. The second half is me prepping my hair. I just did this get ready with me look. It's an orange kind of pinup inspired look I was going to do. But I'm going to wear it for every day today because I have a ton of stuff to get done. And let me fix this camera. Ooh, trying to figure out that background. Okay, let's start again. So I'm back. I'm prepping my hair. You may have missed the first part of this. The first part was get ready with me. I did this makeup look. And once again, I mixed airbrush with regular makeup because I love using all the tools that I have and the best of both worlds. Two, I did a medium hold spray in my hair. It's a little damp, but I'm still going to curl it. I used some of the Bio, Bio Silk or Silk Drops by Ion just to smooth it and give it some shine. It just makes it more manageable. Split the hair in half. I've got my Hot Shots one inch, one inch to do this wave curling iron. And I actually cut my hair last week, first time I did my length, believe it or not, and I evened it out. And it just, I realized how easy it is if you don't go crazy. So I know right now in quarantine, everybody's trying to figure out how to do their own nails, their own hair, their makeup. And I'm always encouraging people to do their hair and makeup because it's gonna make you feel a million times better than sitting around in PJs and eating shit food and looking at yourself. <laughs> so. Um, it may sound vain or it may be a way of just staying inspired. So I hope if anything these videos entertain you while you're in your quarantine period, but let's get started. So here's part two. I am going to do large waves. This is an everyday look. I was going to do my pinup look, but I'm going to, um, got a ton of stuff to do. I'm prepping to get ready for my own photo shoot. I've set up the lights in my living room. And I've set up my jewelry site. I want to shoot some pictures on how to wear the jewelry in my theme. Baroness Lovey Deluxe, which is a combination of retro glamour, celebrating forgotten glamour with modern edge. I like to show how you can wear it for not only vintage lovers, 
which may be not vintage enough for a lot of people, but I get tired of labels and groups and people giving me rules. So I create my own style and I hope you like it. And you can wear it for modern looks, day, evening, and you can wear it for vintage looks. Add it to your favorite pinup outfit. I don't care. Um, and well, here we go. So I'm taking one inch and just wrapping around. I'm leaving the ends out, but I'm making sure it's snug so I get a nice curl. Couple of seconds, and then you can see. So this, the point of this is a loose curl. Um, normally I would say clip back the sections of your hair, but I've done this so many times, and I'm not really looking for a perfect, this isn't like, it's similar to doing my vintage wave. If I was going to do a vintage wave, I would scrunch it and clip it and wait and then sculpt it. This is an everyday look I'm doing where I just want those big romantic waves um, without it looking too tight, without it being too contrived and too constructed. So I just want a carefree hair today, make life easy. And once again, grabbing that one inch section and you can go back in after and do little pieces individually. So this is just to get the base done. And we'll give it one little scrunch. When you scrunch up the hair when it's hot, it molds it. Um, if you have naturally curly hair, this is a great way to tame it and kind of give it some style. Um, you would want to kind of blow dry it out and then maybe, not necessarily brush it out, but the blow drying will make it, give it a lot of volume, but there'll be no curl. So then you can go back in, smooth it with the product I showed you. Now if you have fine hair, you can do the same look, but I would use a stronger, hair hold, like you can take half lotto body, half water, comb it through right away, and then work with it right away. Otherwise the hair will stiffen up, but that really helps with fine short hair. Um, I would say the longest you could do this with, or the shortest would be to your shoulders. But this is a technique that um, people use all the time, this curling. So you can see I got some big waves, it's tamed down the hair, and this side's the kind of messy, blown out, frizzy side. So instead of fighting to get it straight today, I am just working with what I got. So I keep the top open and I leave a little bit of the ends out, but I'm holding it quite tightly. Because I have a lot of hair, I want a nice wave, so I don't want it to go all flat by the end of the day. Um, for my hair, I used a little hairspray. If I wanted it to be really sculpted, I would have used the lot of body with half water. I have another video for that and I will try and tag it to this. I have a ton of videos on doing hair, so once again. Now normally if you are hair challenged, I would take clips and clip it back so you don't get it tangled, but I've done this a million times like I said, so I'm just grabbing one inch sections. They're quite large, so I'll go in afterwards just on the top and add in a few pieces to add some dimension and just, you know, you could leave it and have a nice smooth wave, but I like it a little messier for my day to day. I like the volume, so today I'm going to, see I've got these ripples, so it's not quite what I want, and I don't want to fight with it, so I'm going to take some top sections, and I'm leaving, I'm leaving the ends open, so I just get a nice wave, and if your hair is damp, mine's a little damp, it doesn't curl as well, but I'm not going to worry about it, it's the technique I wanted to show you. And you can see it's still doing the waves. So it's kind of giving me that beachy wave look. Now if you used a smaller barrel, it would give you a way tighter wave, which is really pretty. I like a three quarter for that. So it's still working. I had already done my bangs. I had straightened them, which I always do. As soon as I wash my hair, I dry them and, and iron them because otherwise they will look crazy. And we're going to go around and just pop some nice curls all around. Just on the top perimeter with the shorter pieces. I've got a couple layers in my hair still. I've been growing my hair for the last seven months because someone butchered it and I had a great horseshoe cut and it was to my shoulders and then it's just grown and grown so now it's to my waist and I trimmed it myself last week and I was totally terrified but it ended up being super easy and I could do a video on that if you want to see it on how to trim the length of your hair yourself. And it's just a great in-between while we're in this kind of quarantine and you can't get to hairstylist, but you won't wreck your hair. So as long as you don't trim it too much and go crazy, because right now people are bored and they're cutting their hair and they're doing all kinds of things. And it's like, you gotta just stay calm and wait it out. 
But hairstyles, to do things with your hair, and even like some of these fun te curling techniques will keep you looking groomed and not like a crazy woman in your pajamas eating Cheetos. <laughs> so, so this, I got a nice beachy wave. This is good for every day. I'm just scrunching it. You can go back in with some medium spray. Now most of my flyaways have gone. I've just got a little bit. This type of hairstyle, I don't worry about too much about flyaways or if it's, as long as I get, it doesn't look frizzy. It's natural to have, you know, hair. If you're gonna do a looser look with your Betty Bangs, it's natural to have hair kind of around. That's the idea. But frizz, you can take this pomade, any pomade. I've got this one. I've got some more trendier ones, but this is the Ion. It smells so good. You can get it at Sally's. And you just, as you can see, my part's crooked because I did not care. And then just smooth down. And this will help get rid of any of those little flyaways drive you nuts. But down here in my width, I like to keep it really curly and wild. Um, so I'm basically working with the hair instead of fighting it. And I've got some pieces in here. And I like to pull it forward a little bit. And if you want to frame your face, just take some of these pieces and go closer to your face. Don't burn yourself. See how it just adds a little definition. And you can do this with any length and any type of hair. So if your hair is thin, like I said, you just want to use a stronger hair product, like a lotto body mixed with water. And I have a video on that. If you have curly hair, you just want to tame the hair a little bit so it's a little bit more, it's, you're working with your volume and really using it, but you're kind of s balancing it with your Betty Bangs. If you have Betty Bangs, you can do this with just regular hair. So, I hope you liked this video. This was part two of my Get Ready With Me. I did this orange and brown makeup look first, but um, stay tuned or check out that video. So I may post these together as two different videos or I may post one one week, one next. Stay tuned, I'll let you know. Join me on my Facebook page, I always talk there and I let you know when the newest videos are coming out. But if you like what you see, then like, share, and click the bell for notifications and you will get notifications on my latest videos. And when you like them and comment, it really helps me out. It builds my channel and it inspires me to keep going and doing these videos where I share tips and tricks, showing you easy ways to get glam looks, vintage inspired or just modern day and wearing them in your day to day. So um, I hope you guys are having fun and stay busy at home. Do your hair and makeup. You'll feel so much better. Wear some lipstick. Okay, I'll see you guys later.